before we get back to Abigail, let's read one more newspaper Hello, first. It seems like we can learn about one of our previous gang members by reading issue 74. Be seeing you around. Let's see. Has anyone seen no! Called Gavin? No! Go away! Go away! I'll read this elsewhere. Hold on. That guy is literally in every single city possible. My goodness. Okay. Bureau of Investigation founded. Oh, that's the actual FBI then, huh? We are helpless. Towns decry unchecked violence. Reverend Swanson leads NY Church. Oh. Yeah. Unrest in the tropics. We are helpless. Outlaw gangs running rampant. Reverend Swanson leads NY Church, delivers powerful message. Reverend Orville Swanson was inducted into his official capacity as minister at the First Congregational Church of New York this week. Having moved to the city to accept the position, a service was held and then a reception was given to celebrate the appointment. Encouraging reports from attendees indicate that Reverend Swanson delivered an impassioned and heartfelt sermon about acknowledging sin and seeking redemption. He spoke about his own break from faith, a dark period, when he could not attend church, falling into sin, depravity, and wanton gluttony. He chronicled the period where he rediscovered his faith and began witnessing on street corners to then become assistant pastor at a church in Ohio and now New York. During his recent attendance at the convention meeting of the First Congregational Churches, he delivered a very moving oration, impressing attendees as an eloquent and persuasive speaker and was almost immediately offered the position. Wow, Reverend! Oh. Remember how we found the morphine in his Bible and all? He's come a long way. Proud of him. So we can't bump into him because he's not in here anymore. He's in New York. But it's really nice to see that he's doing well too. Hey, Jack! You doing okay? Dogs get bit sometimes. I'll get tougher, sir. Life can be real nasty, son. Worst things are gonna happen, you know. You should go to sleep. It's literally four in the morning right now. Hey, little fella. No, you be quiet. No, I'm having a moment of You stay safe well, you now. Be All right, sir. Oh, oh, what's going on inside? You should be grateful. I'll tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I'll work my fingers to the bone Building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. We didn't propose yet. <laughs> Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Oh. Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Oh, they're so nice. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Yeah, let's go get my shave and a haircut. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... 
Since, uh... Forever? Since forever? <laughs> Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. I hope so, too. You know, while we were waiting for Abigail to come back, it must have been really tough for her, too. Single mother, working and taking care of Jack, all by herself. It was tough for everybody. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> Yeah, this could be a good time to propose, huh? <laughs> Let me take off the marker. And now to Blackwater. Son, wash the house for me, okay? Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and... Well... I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. <laughs> we decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe... Get our portrait took, for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. Ouch! No! I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat Uncle. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait it is. Sounds good to me. Wait till she finds out you were out bounty hunting and fighting a bear and almost died. <laughs> we still haven't addressed the mica issue though, so this kind of feels like the calm before the storm. Are you gonna give up your happy ranch life with your wife-to-be and your son and your friends just to get revenge? I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm going to head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You want to come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Can I get a shave while I'm waiting? Oh my god. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. Oh no, I'm sorry, but I think we're gonna get the photo with this hobo beard. Funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally. I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. 
<laughs> no one's working here. Um, I'm following you. Photographer's right there. I'm so sorry, Abigail. I'm so sorry, John. You were supposed to look handsome and dapper, but now you're gonna look like this for the photo. <laughs> oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... Uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. <laughs> a background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. We have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. They're the boss lady. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. This is fancy. I mean, this whole scrolling lover thingy. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, <laughs> mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. <laughs> Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Not the bar. <laughs> Maybe the one with Niagara Falls? Oh, if we want to go to that one, we'd have to, like, go all the way back up. Oh, I wish there were a quicker way to go back. This is basically our wedding photo, right? So maybe something not as mystical, but grounded. The homestead one earlier was pretty nice. This one seems pretty far removed from reality. The volcano! <laughs> so in the end, maybe we'll just settle for Niagara Falls. Ah! This one. Wonderful! That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. <sighs> Oh no. Oh. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. This is nice. Wonderful. But I don't like the composition. Oh, okay. Cut out the chair. Good. Good. John. Oh, okay. How's this? Perfect. Whoa. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh yes, he'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. 
Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Aww. Abigail, where are you going? <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> We've never been to the show in Blackwater. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Ah, this is one of the moving picture ones. Not the live performances. Like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. Oh wow. <laughs> Every single frame is hand drawn, huh? What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. It looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Wow. She's an outlaw. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Well, that was a real short one. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought he was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Don't look at me. Look at the sky. The water. <laughs> okay, I'm looking. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? Oh my god. John, you can't tease me like that. Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up, I am married to you. No, I mean... Proper, in front of God. You serious? I 
I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Aww. They've been together for so long. I'm so sorry, John. I really should have gotten you shaved before we went to Abigail. <laughs> I thought since we were going to the photo studio, we would have time to go to the barber too, because it makes sense, right? Getting a haircut right before the photo, but uh, that wasn't on their mind. <laughs> Oh, you romantic. I'm a little worried though because the Micah issue is still here and you proposed to her already. I feel like the order should be switched if you really want a new start. future imagined. I took forever because I tried going to the barber. Um, wasn't Jack with me? No? Hey, someone broke the fence there. Wasn't that nice? Wasn't that nice? We're going back to Abigail once more. American Venom, check in on your family. Okay. Out of curiosity. Oh my god, it's the last mission. 99%. Hmm. Well, there's no point in dawdling. Oh my god. <laughs> right after imagining our new future, John gets into an accident and we drop dead. What's this? Is that the manure again or something else? Yeah, it's probably the manure. That's okay. Hey, Rufus! How you doing? Is everybody here? Oh, just look at this. I can't believe we built this. That's insane. You know how much these skills would go for these days if we could build a house by ourselves? We even have this, like, gazebo here. What? My gosh. A campfire. Where's everybody, though? I feel like I haven't seen Charles in forever. Children, and none of them ever knew that 
Their father had once been the bravest warrior in the world. The end. Hello. Um. <laughs> I'm just wondering if we can get a shave here. Like, if we have to do it by going back to Blackwater, then I'm not gonna bother. But if I can really quickly freshen up, that would make me happy. Oh, dang it. We don't have a shaving kit. Not like Arthur did. Mm. I'm back with a haircut and a shave. Yeah, look at how much more youthful I look. I'm ready now. Just want to make sure I look a little bit better for the cutscenes, you know? And my journal also updated while I was in Blackwater. Poor Mr. Miller died. I hope his book, which I got the manuscript for, was worth all the sacrifice. I burned the hut he was in, as that seemed to be what he wanted. Strange man. All that learning did not seem to make him happy. Not quite as wise as he thought he was. I'm getting married! She thinks I'm a real fool, and she's right. Only she don't know quite why I'm a fool. Aww. It's good to see that somebody is getting a little bit of happiness. But this is the last mission here, and frankly, I'm kind of scared. Hey, gang. Where's Charles been the whole time? I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear... What's for dinner? <laughs> What's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Oh, no. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys. Wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... John. <laughs> I'm begging you. No! <laughs> you risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. That's why I think the proposal should have been after this. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Oh. Go north. Canada. Find a woman. Start a family, if I can. I see how that life... Well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, wait, hey, John. You've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. 
You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down to South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. If it's to kill Micah, then we definitely have to have Arthur's hat. Our, oh, do we already have it? No, we don't. Might as well get my guns ready as well. Shotgun for the satisfying kills. All right. How convenient that they would be right at Strawberry too, the closest town to us. Okay, Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Yeah, I have no idea which one was Cleet either. <laughs> huh. Okay, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. All right. Hey, Cleek! Been a while. Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey. murder! Oh! Hey. Stop, stop, stop! Oh. Can't escape us, Cleek! Ain't no point in trying. What the hell? Move! Where are you running to? Huh? Leave me alone, damn it! Oh, Sadie, wonderful. Hello, Cleek. Remember us? Damn it! Joe, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Huh. Now, where's Micah? I'll sure know a wrong and when you see him. Micah? I ain't seen him. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, lay into him. Where is he? No, 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 no. I don't mind killing stop, you. Stop, 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 stop. Anything short of killing will do. Hey, 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 hey. Tell me. The townspeople are watching. Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. They have gallows and strawberry? Don't dig your heels in. Oh, they do. Drag him over here. Oh, my neck. Never seen it used, though. We can change that. No, no, no. Listen to me. Keep moving. I, I swear. Climb. Hold on. Move. You heard the lady. Get up there! No, come no, here, you no, bastard! No, no. Move it! Come on, move! No, no, come on, man. Here, I want you stood right here! Still! Dog! Alright, string the no good murdering bastard up. Oh my god. And he's still not gonna rat my guy out? Let's try this again. Uh. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Oh. Stop! Wait, 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 wait. wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think it's... He's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... 
I'm one of the good guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hang him. No. Agreed. No. I, I told you. He's done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. <laughs> A little rat said Mount Hagen. Well, we had an audience. Maybe he really tried to stop Micah from killing a little girl, but it doesn't change that he had a part in getting Arthur killed. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah. multi-day journey we all ready this pass will take us up into the high mountains lead the way oh there's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp Arthur's hat oh it took it off whoa oh. there must be a sniper oh. get in cover quick ah. You alive, Charles? Uh, uh, oh, God. Just, uh, uh, Don't be careful. Where is this bastard? Stay low. We gotta get closer to him. Oh. When we get the train. Getting shot up. A bit of ground every time. Okay? Oh. I got the yep. hot ground there. A box of bullets, a canteen, and some jerky. Try, Don't stay down. Get Faster. Test your friend back there. Now, moving up. Stay behind there, Dom. Yep. Oh. oh. Not Arthur's hat. Anything but. <laughs> I should probably take a miracle tonic, huh? Okay. Guess you ain't here by no accident. God damn it. You're gonna die, you dumb bastard. We can see him. Done. You got it. Okay. Let's go back to Charles. Oh, bastard try to get my hat. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. But go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just. I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. I hope the cold stops his bleeding. Here they come. If you run to Michael Bell, you're a fool. Head on. I'm going there, on the cliff edge. Anyone with my cabal is gonna get a pull. Lock up, Bell. Where is he? Yep, there's more. We'll get them all. There's a camp here. It's not big enough. Mac arrives with 10, 20 guys. Keep climbing till we find that tower Charles talked about. Okay. Okay, come on. Hair's getting thin. Let's do this. We started the story in the snowy mountains. 
And that's where we'll end it too. It's difficult to climb up. Yup! The snow is so thick. Sadie! Shit! Look out! I can handle it! Oh! Oh, Sadie! Mac up, Bell! We can't get trapped down here! Come here, you bitch! <gasps> Sadie! Get your hands off her! <laughs> Is it Micah? Just some random. No! Fuck! Fuck! You alright? She's fine. You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. You better not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? When I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yep. Yeah. Just me. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. Likewise. Bam! You ain't gonna see Bam! Get up on Bam! That was Joe! We gotta be close! Your fools are worse! Don't reload now, John. We gotta make sure we're okay. Oh, we're running out of bullets. Holy God. Go. Well, oh! <laughs> Get him! I'm here for you. Where's my gun? I have ten bullets left. Oh god. Oh! Oh frick, I gotta get any cover. Micah Bell! I'm just here for Micah Bell! It's John Marston, Micah! Why is my health going so fast? It's scaring me. It might be because of my weight. Oh my god, we don't have any more bullets for this gun. Shoot. Shoot. I'll keep going. I'm here to finish this! Now we switch to this one. Dude, look at my health. Oh my god, it's scaring me so much. Micah! Micah! Shit! Micah! Oh god. If it's a little pistol, we might need a few more shots.
buddy. Come on, buddy. I'll even give you my other gun. It's not here. Really? Slow and steady. Better prep. Micah, are you over there? Micah, I'm coming. Last camp left. Micah! I'll even save you the shotgun. Hey, Micah! Oh, this is too quiet. Where are you? Micah, if you're here, come out. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Dude looks like he's 70. He's really aged. I got more men coming, John! You should run away! It's not really my style, is it? I look forward to meeting them! I'll make you rich! Real rich! I can't even get into Deadeye. I got all the money from Blackwater! Well... <laughs> most of it is... I can't shoot, he's really fast. Anyway... <clears throat> I want to be rich! Sounds good! Come and give it to me! Oh, frick! Can I throw a dynamite at him? I'll make you rich! Real rich! I got all the money! Damn it! How much money you got from Blackwater? It's just here! Yes! Come on now, Micah! At least tell like a man! <laughs> Hell fire! It's just like old times! <laughs> Come on! You turn around and start walking! You got me! <laughs> Just like old times, hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Oh. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. 
got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You'd kill Sadie? You shot at me, son. You started it. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. Oh my god! I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. Oh. Oh. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. I'll shoot you even better. <laughs> Thank you. I You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin is black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. The black water money now? We threw so many dynamites at Micah earlier. He didn't get to finish talking. Got money. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. We actually get a happy-ish ending here? Because I was totally expecting for it to go down the drain, because set up for Red Dead Redemption 1 and all. Well, I'm, I'm glad to see that. We already got enough suffering with Arthur and all, so... Oh. For the second time, Dutch doing something that we didn't think he would do. 
See, that's why I feel like Dutch is not... It's really not just as simple as, oh my god, he's a bad guy and he's evil and he stands for everything that's horrible in this world. I was really disappointed to see that he was there with Micah again, because they split right by the end there. But were they were they together here? I wasn't too sure because it seemed like from what Micah was saying that that wasn't really the case. Oh. I guess even though you've been together for so long already, it's real nice to finally make it official. And after all those bad things happening in our life, it's good to have an opportunity to just celebrate, you know, be happy for once. Although the Skinner brothers are kind of still in the back of my mind, but I think they don't want you to think that. Like when Charles said that most of them have been eliminated already, I think you were supposed to take that at face value. But for gameplay and open world exploration purposes, they still have a lot of Skinner brothers just wandering around. Oh, can you believe it? We're finally at the end of Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, for those of you who have been watching this since I started playing it in November, I'm really sorry it took so long, because I know in the beginning my schedule was a lot less frequent than I had it by the end here, and thinking back, I think that was kind of a bad choice, but um, if you stuck around for so long, thank you so much, and I'm sorry that I've made you wait. Either way though, even if I went faster, like the overall actual playtime hours into the game is probably one of the longer games I've covered on the channel. And um, you might not believe it, but in the first maybe two or three hours of the game, I wasn't into it. I forgot if I ever talked about this somewhere down the line. In the beginning, it was just really not what I was expecting because Red Dead Redemption is quite interesting from a triple a game kind of perspective because when we think of triple a games there are certain things that we associate with that kind of genre right things like um high production values which this does have and action and fast travel points because they don't want you getting bored blah 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 the list goes on but red dead redemption 2 there were several things, especially in the beginning, because we couldn't fast travel at all in the beginning, so they made you go everywhere on foot and it was sort of like the slow burn. Remember how I didn't even use the fast travel map for like the first 60 hours? Because I didn't even know I had one, but it got to the point where even if I had one, I didn't mind not using it because it felt very natural to be like, okay, I'm at the camp right now, so let's ride out to Saint Denis. Certain aspects of this game felt so natural that I was just like, oh, okay, let's ride. <laughs> Once you got into that slow rhythm of the Western life, everything just fell into place and it was all good. So yeah, that really wasn't the problem anymore, starting from the fourth or fifth hour and I've been completely hooked ever since and it stayed all that way until the end here. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a shame because I feel like at the end of Arthur's journey, I had a few things I wanted to say, but I thought the way they did it was really weird. Because in my videos, I ended off Arthur's journey in one video, and then the beginning of the next video, it was the epilogue with John, right? So if you've only been watching videos, then it might not have been as obvious to you that these two videos were completely continuous. Like, there was no break in between except for like, three seconds of black screen. I strongly, strongly feel like if there was some sort of a mini intermission there, like a small credits roll, then that would have worked out really well because when I was playing it, I was like super sad about Arthur dying and then the next second, it was like seven years later with John. There was sadness about Arthur's situation, but also relief because John's family is doing well and it was kind of like this emotional whiplash sort of situation. I eventually got over it though, just from playing John a bit more, so I guess it's not that big, but I really do think if they had some kind of break here, it would make a lot more sense. Because I'm guessing the credits that we're watching right now, it's gonna be like an hour long, right? <laughs> this game is massive, I don't doubt that like 20,000 people worked on this. If they could have just had like half the credits roll in that part instead, I personally would have preferred that. But needless to say, I really enjoyed Arthur's journey and I guess by the end of his life, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. 
I would say he redeemed himself by the end there, by trying to be a good person and helping John and his family escape. God, that fight with Micah though, like, it gave me a little bit of hope that we would be able to be a hero and take him down with us while we were going, but no, no, that would be too much. Arthur redeemed himself, but he's not exactly a full-blown hero either, so, yeah. My investment levels with what happened to the people in the Vanderlyn gang was pretty much through the roof. I think the dialogue is really well written between everybody. And speaking of dialogue, oh my god, the camp. How the camp works is amazing. I brought this up when I first noticed it too, but the camp was just so natural feeling. People were walking around doing their own thing with or without you. They'd be having conversations with one another and not just waiting for you. I've never seen another game do it this well before. It seriously blew my mind and I think that's part of why I'm so invested in it too because everybody just felt so alive and real. As for playing John in the epilogue, well, definitely my investment level in John was not as high because we were Arthur for like 70 hours, so to switch that up is a big shock. But by the end there, yeah, I cared for him. Although I feel like the story in the epilogue is not... Like, it's still good, but I don't think they put as much effort into the epilogue as the rest of the game. But speaking of that, even chapter 5 in the main game was really weird. The part where we went to Guarma, because I thought the Fusar thing, the Colonel Fusar guy, I thought killing him was gonna do something back on the main island, but it was just this isolated island and nothing we did on there made it back to the main island. Nobody on the main island cared about what we did on Gorma. Didn't really affect my overall enjoyment of the game though. By the way, I have been paying attention to what's on the screen right now. I did see that Charles is going to Canada probably, and uh, Mary Beth is writing, and the Pinkertons found Micah. Just trying to keep my train of thought going here by not getting distracted by the scenes, that's all. Okay, so I've already established that I like this game by making a hundred YouTube videos on it, but if I just keep droning on and on about how amazing this is, like, we already know this, okay? So there's no need to preach to the choir. I think there's certainly aspects of this game that can be improved, though. The Rockstar approach to gameplay. You know how it's like in uh, GTA? Disclaimer, I've only played four. But how you go into a mission and then it just displays the mission objective at the bottom of the screen and whenever you need to go to a new location, it highlights it for you on the mini-map. Like, they handhold you every step of the way to the max. Like, remember when Arthur and John were blowing up the bridge and I made Arthur walk away from the bridge for like a little bit and then immediately it failed my mission. So things like that I feel like... Like, I get that it's like a rock star kind of thing, but why? Why does it have to be like that? It's so hyper-linear. And it kind of goes back to how this game is kind of weird because the super linear but very immersive story doesn't really match in the anything is possible open world it's put into. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this earlier, but just like the camp, the random events are really nice. Again, it's something that makes the world feel really alive because there's random events, but it's not marked at a specific place on a map, aside from certain things like the Aberdeen pig farm. For the most part, you can't seek out random events, they just happen to you. That part's good. But back to the point I was trying to make here, Compared to something like The Last of Us, where the gameplay and all the systems and the story, they're all very interlinked and it just all fits together, that's not something that I can say about Red Dead Redemption. So I think there's definitely gonna be people out there who don't care about the story in a video game, and they play it, and they think the gameplay is really boring because it doesn't really do any sort of innovation. I get the impression that this isn't something that Rockstar is too interested in changing though, because GTA 4 plays like this, GTA 5 plays like this, and I'm guessing Red Dead Redemption 3, if that ever happens, is gonna play like this too. Well anyway, like I said, it's... I mean, it's not a small deal, but it's not something that makes me enjoy the game less. Yeah, let's put it that way. Mmm, it looks like these credits are gonna be running for a bit longer. I'm gonna keep watching, but um, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the music, how about that?
I'll quip in once in a while if there is anything interesting on the screen, but for the most part, I will see you at the end. Tilly and her husband. The baby's born. Mr. Pearson! Doing well for himself. Oh, wow, he so brazenly has a picture of the old days just in his store. Looking for John. It's a good thing for the world that Micah's dead. Why you gotta look, man?
Sadie stayed for a while, but she's gotta get back to her job. Oh, you know how earlier when they were showing John and Abigail's wedding? I couldn't recognize Sadie because she was wearing that dress. And I was like, who is that? Is that like John's friend or something? <laughs> oh god, I'm too used to seeing her in this outfit. I want to go back to the beginning and see how she looked like there. I'm so used to her cowgirl look. Every other look is just so strange. <laughs> Mary Linton? Oh no, oh no, no. Is it too much to ask for? You see that they're just ranchers now. Can you let them go, please?
Oh, the plague in Armadillo, that church that we went to. fall.
John Marson. Oh, oh. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. No, wait! You okay, woman? Never better. I'll see you around. Uh-huh. Oh. I guess we can look at the checklist for that last mission there. No. A hundred percent. Story completion. Out of curiosity, how many missions is that even? My god, this was a really dang long game. We got a Silva. Yeah, for some reason, during that mission, maybe because of the cold, but my health was dropping like crazy. Mm hmm Well, uh, I guess we can look at this. Player. <laughs> Underweight. Honor is good, though. Good honor. But, uh, just look at this. I spent so many time- I spent so much time on this game, but there's still, like, so many things that I just never even came across. Oh, books. That's what these perks are? Okay. We never came across a single dinosaur bone. We didn't finish collecting any cigarette card sets. It's insane. It's insane how big this game is. Oh, we should check out the journal. Yeah, you're getting married. You're now married. We got married and we danced and uncle made us laugh. And Jack seemed real happy. Sadie left after she fixed herself up. Charles went off hunting, something or other, as I knew he would. Uncle ain't going anywhere. Saw Dutch. Damn near broke my heart again, after all this time. Wanted to kill him, but I didn't. Saw Micah, and was never gladder to see a man die. Whatever peace and happiness I can find in this world, I know it's a better place with him out of it. And that's it. That's the last page. And this ranch. It's all mine. It's all mine. 
<sighs> well, this will be it for Red Dead Redemption. Abigail is still walking down there. <laughs> this will be it for me and Red Dead Redemption 2 then. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this behemoth of a game. And I will see you all around.